Sarah Chalk is with us. The woman is out of breath. <laughs> she just ran here. She's so excited to be here. She can't breathe. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. How are you? Good morning. I'm great. What happened here? What happened? You were, you were doing the satellite uh, tour where you do all the stations and everything? Yes, yes. Since yes. like 2 in the morning and then there was oh, traffic. And yeah. Uh, but you're I'm so here, excited to be all here. That, right? We kept showing pictures of you just getting shots over and over. And everyone's <laughs> yeah. like, the Twitter is like, is she sick? Like, What's going on? Right? It was like six, I think, since the show started. So what is that all about? Explain to everyone. I got my flu shot. I'm a very big believer in the flu shot. I've had them every year for about the last 20 years. My whole family has. I come from a long line of very well vaccinated Canadians. Okay, but that's I, a very specific ethnic group, isn't it? And <laughs> Julia, would, Julia would like to hear that if she was here. But I have to say, I don't get the flu shot. You don't get the flu shot. You have to get the flu shot. I don't get it. It's the best thing you can do for your health. I mean, the, I think what people don't realize is that the flu can actually be very serious and have really serious complications. And the flu shot, getting the shot, is the easiest safest, most effective way to protect yourself against the flu. But what do you tell people like me that go, oh, I just don't like the way it feels because I, then I feel kind of sick for a few days afterwards and I don't I'll really get sick. I'll give you a gummy bear afterwards. You're going to give her a gummy okay, bear? Well, you you'll give me a gummy bear. I'll do it. I'll do okay. it. Yeah. Um, people, yes, yeah, some people say, okay, what if I get the flu shot and then I get the flu? And the doctors say that's not true. I mean, if you get sick after the flu shot, it's sort of like a coincidental timing thing. Um, but the, the best way to protect yourself from not getting it. And it doesn't hurt. It's two I'll, seconds. I'll be honest right with you. You're, 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 and then you won't get the flu for you're here. here and I like you and we like you here. We're glad you're here to talk about this and it's an important issue. I'm with her. Uh, and it's two against one. And I know. It, no, no, but, and it's, it's not a one. thoughtless thing on my part. I mean, it's something that I've thought about in research yes. and I used to get the flu shots. I, there is, I mean, you, you do get to a point where you say, do I want to inject into my body what you need to inject into your body mm -hmm. to ward off the flu if they have the right strains because yes. you've got to predict it. Uh, a lot in advance. The answer for me to that question yes. is yes. I mean, I have a two and a half year old, and I feel like the best way for me to protect him is if me, my husband, our right. parents, everybody kind of around him gets the vaccine so we're not bringing illness home to him. I mean, on set, I'm working around like 125 people and exposed to so many sure. germs and children. It's like a petri dish. For the first yeah. time. It's a petri dish. Yes, yeah. Oh, well, my kids come home sick all the time, right? And I feel that's oh like the flu shot. <laughs> it's uh, it's really amazing. I mean, with the two and a half year old, like you're just you're just getting stuff all the time. Mm -hmm. And yeah. and you pass it on to them, they pass it on to you, et cetera, et cetera. Now we were talking. Robbie Benson was here. I don't think you saw him. He was here earlier, uh, and he talked about the fact that he comes from the tradition that no matter how you feel, you work. It, with him, it didn't matter if it was a heart condition, whatever it was, right. you work. You have the same attitude. Okay, yes and no. I mean, I have the, yes, I will always, I don't think I've ever missed a day of work for illness, but I am like a two and a half year old when it comes to, I regress, I'm like really whiny. <laughs> so you're like a guy. I'm exactly, oh my gosh, I'm exactly you're like, like, a like a guy. guy. I mean, just, I'm sick and I get two seconds. My, my husband's sick and it's like the whole world, <laughs> the whole world just world like stops. collapsed. <laughs> so you're like that. So did your yes. husband take care of you? I need like soup. I'm not What's even that much, get? not even that much yeah. than normal, but I'm just like. What I mean, is the sound you get? I want to hear the sound. When you start, <laughs> it sounds like a sick cow. <laughs> Everything hurts. I don't want to get out of bed. Want, uh, right. yeah. yeah, so they, see, that's why I have to get the blue shot. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. like I'm a whiner. Okay, can we talk mm -hmm. about Cougar Town? Yes. It's on TBS now, right? Yes. And how much fun are you having on that show? I, I was actually on there last year. I got to go back and see all of my, uh, my Scrubs buddies because they had the whole same crew and a bunch of the cast, and it was absolutely you miss Scrubs a, a lot. Your Scrubs was the strangest show. People really loved the show. It was really funny, and you could never find it. Yeah, I think we had 27 time slots, including Saturday morning at what, one point. What was, so what, was that, what was that all about? I don't know, but we were lucky enough to get to do it for a while. We yeah. had the best time, and, uh, and I'm working on a show now called how to live with your parents for the rest of your yes. life. Okay, what, what is the premise of that? Uh, it's a true story. The it's writer who wrote one, yeah. the show moved in with her parents. She showed up on her parents' doorstep and said, uh, I hope it's not a bad time for you because it is for me with her four-year-old and moved in and she has a 17-year-old now. She was getting a divorce, right? Was that? Yes, and she sort of felt like between her and her parents, they made one responsible parent between the three of them. Uh -huh. And it worked. <laughs> She's like the coolest kid on the so, planet. So I want to come back I with her Brad daughter Garrett, Brad Garrett is in it? Yes. Okay. Brad Garrett plays my stepdad and Elizabeth Perkins plays my mom. Okay, I have like, a question for you. I have dream, a question. Dream. Brad Garrett is 
when he's on, he's the funniest guy in the world. He, the funniest guy. Yeah. Like, we can't get through takes. It's yes. a problem. Yeah. The funniest guy ever. in the world yeah. ever, yeah. ever. Yeah. I yeah, because he, he comes from stand-up, and that's what he does. And it's it's incredible to get to work with him. He improvs, and he's so fun, and, and just the nicest guy. I'm so uh, is this going to be on Saturday morning? When is it going to be on? <laughs> it's going to be on January. Jan do we, we don't yes. have a time, so let's I do don't it. know when. But yes. All right, here's Hopefully we won't get switched around as much as Scrubs, right? <laughs> Maybe the secret to Scrubs was they didn't even know that it was back on again, so they kept putting it back on. <laughs> Because <laughs> it went for years and years, if you look at it that way. Right? It, it, I it loved it. It, was so, it made me laugh all the time. Uh, all right, so when the series does go on, you'll come back again. I hope you don't have the flu. I will. I hope you guys don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's really good. Cool. <laughs> Maybe, you know what? I have a shot. Next time you come Thank on, you. you bring a nurse <laughs> and you give us the flu okay. shot. Uh, deal? I'll do right. it. Okay, I'll do it. I'll get it. <laughs> I'll bring it. Only if you do it. It's on your hand over there. I feel like it's sick more.